the famous uh, headline, Orioles top White Sox 3-1. to one. The very first win. Steve Terman is a collector by nature. Started collecting coins, collected stamps, then collected political stuff. And a history buff at his core. Collecting a lot of the stuff I have is based as much on history as it is on big names. Like everybody wants Babe Ruth or Brooks Robinson or Johnny Unitas. I wanted those, but I also wanted stuff that represented the history of the Baltimore Orioles. As a kid, he loved sports. So I was always into sports. I played sports. I followed sports. I read the sports page every day. And right. now, after more than 40 years of collecting pieces of Baltimore history, Steve's Eastern Shore home could double as a Baltimore baseball museum. That's the Baltimore Black Sox. They were a, a very well-known team. Every picture, pin, paperweight, ticket, scorecard, jersey, hat, helmet, bat, glove, ball, trophy and ring helps to tell Baltimore's baseball story. This is uh, the 1966 world champions ring. When you think back to when you were younger and you look around, I mean, yeah. you, that young kid inside of you has got to be like pretty pumped about this collection. I have a lot of the jerseys from the 1966 Baltimore Orioles. That was the year they won their first world championship. I can remember like it was yesterday listening on the radio, watching Kurt Gowdy on TV. All of those memories come back. Memories of when the Orioles were atop the baseball world. To me, the Orioles started in 54, but this is really where the Orioles started being great. Steve has a number of one of one items in his collection, but one of his favorites features the lineup cards from game four of the 1966 World Series when the O's clinched their first World Series championship. To me, that's history beyond, I mean, I feel wrong sometimes having something like that because that is such an integral part of Baltimore Orioles baseball history. And you can't tell the story of Orioles baseball without mentioning Steve's favorite player, Mr. Oriole. Brooks Robinson. You brought up one of the names, uh, Brooks Robinson, who's, you know, part of that history. What is it about Brooks that he is, he's your guy? Um, that's a great question. I guess it was just his abilities. After years, I found out that he was as great a baseball player as he was, Hall of Famer. He was a far better human being. He was the nicest man ever. And he has collected a number of significant Brooks Robinson items over the years. We first met Steve 20 years ago. I probably have the biggest equipment collection of anybody that I know of. And there were two items he was looking to add to his extensive collection. I'm still looking for one of Brooks Robinson's batting helmets with the sawed off brim, and I'm looking for a real Brooks Robinson glove. Two decades later, he has both. Just a gorgeous Brooks Robinson glove. But some of his favorite collectibles have a personal touch. These are his cufflinks, and a lot of my friends said, why would you want Brooks Robinson's? To me, the connection to Brooks was stronger, really, with this than much of the other stuff, because this was Brooks the person, as opposed to Brooks the Hall of Fame uh, third baseman for the Orioles. One of Steve's gems tells the story of a missed connection. So a friend of mine went to Las Vegas and told Brooks that uh, his partner collected Baltimore's and Brooks Robinson stuff. So Brooks wrote to me, sorry I missed you in Las Vegas, understand you have a collection, would like to see it, my best Brooks Robinson. Wow. So that's also one of my prized possessions. What else is there to add to this collection? Uh, I've stopped collecting for the most part. Uh, but if I could afford it, the two premier pieces were his 1966 World Series ring and his 1970 World Series ring. If I had the money and I could sell a bunch of stuff to buy it, I would buy those, but I'm sure those, both of those rings are ensconced in uh, nice private collections. Steve says he's done adding to his collection. He is open to selling some of his collection, but there are two items he told himself he would never part with a Babe Ruth bat, and a special Brooks Robinson jersey. And he's given his wife clear instructions on what to do in the future. When I'm dead, I want you to make sure that the Babe Ruth bat and the jersey go with me into the coffin. I've since <laughs> sold the Babe Ruth bat, but I still do have that jersey. On the Eastern Shore, I'm Alex Glaze reporting for WJZ. Thank you, Alex.